Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding. Uh, so TNT, I want to do, a, I wanna do a, a, a callback about Vince McMahon. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about him. You found out more information. Yeah. Okay. So more, more, more facts have come out, and okay. this is ridiculous. Continue. So, I like it. So it's come out. The Wall Street Journal put out an exclusive article that said that uh, Vince McMahon has agreed to pay more than $12 million over the past 16 years to suppress allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity. So it's not just the girl who it says the payouts went to four women, all formerly affiliated with WWE, who all signed agreements to like uh, and uh, what are they called? NDAs? NDAs. What I saw about it was so it says uh, here's a little blurb. The previously unreported settlements include a seven point five million dollar pack with a former wrestler who alleged that Mr. McMahon coerced her into giving him oral sex and then demoted her and ultimately declined to renew her contract in two thousand five after she resisted further sexual encounters. And uh, oh. d- dude, okay, Vince McMahon only paid four million for WCW when he bought it. Four million. He paid more for a blowjob than he paid to, for WCW, the whole company, when he bought it out. Wow. Double almost. Wow. Like. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. I look, you know what? When you have that amount of money, I guess your reputation becomes worth a lot. Well, what so, also I've read, I mean, and obviously, I, no, I mean, no one's surprised. We've talked about this before. He's a piece of trash, right? He comes across the piece of trash on TV. Art imitates life. He's a billionaire, right? I mean, you, you, whatever. Fair. But uh, I they I've read that uh, Netflix was going to do a documentary on him. Canceled. Um, also read that. Oh, uh, is, are we canceling Vinnie Mac? I've also read that uh, th- there's reports coming out that like behind back backstage, like at the events and stuff, business as usual. No one's talking. No nothing. Nothing. It's just like yeah. he's acting like he didn't do anything wrong. Like he just. <laughs> Just out here doing Co- Cosby's comedy routine all the years while he's just out here doing dirty. <laughs> doing Cosby's comedy routine. Comedy's out, Co- Cosby's out here making people laugh and then roofing them at night. Vince uh, out here just just sexually intimidating lim- women and just oh, business man. as usual. Yeah, I mean, it, it it's still her word against his right now, right? Well, yeah, well, now there seems to be four of them. I mean, yeah, so he, he had sex with a lot of women. I, I could see oh, that he's yeah. rich. So. And I've also saw something that I guess like him and his wife haven't been like together in a long, long, yeah, long, long, long time. Yeah, you said that on the last one. Oh, did I, I, yeah. I definitely could see that because, I mean. He's rich ba- people he's, do that, though. Yeah, he's basically a politician, too, right? I mean, his wife's involved in government. Yeah. She's like head of the small business. Why she's a head of the small business association? Or she's very, I don't know. Like it's <laughs> Yes, she knows so much about small business. <laughs> Because because WWE, you know, that's a small business. I hey, look, I don't know anything about Linda McMahon. But, yeah, uh, I don't know either. I don't but either. But I know she was involved in some small business. So, yeah. anyways, regardless. I know they both uh, have, were donating to like the the GOP. That's all I. Oh really yeah, they're know. definitely in the. In, yeah. in, I mean, like, I mean, Trump's in the WWE Hall of Fame, so you know. They're I mean, close. Yeah, look, honestly, those were some of the best episodes when he <laughs> was on them, and you can't even lie and tell me it wasn't. Dude, it's just ridiculous. Two two grown ass ridiculous <laughs> billionaires <laughs> just being in a <laughs> dick measuring contest, dude. They had a hair versus hair match, I think. All right. So who do you hate more? Then? Oh, God. Do you hate the fact that Trump was in WWE or do you hate the fact that, uh, oh, my God, I can't think of his name and the time has come to say it. <laughs> Logan Paul. Jason Paul. Oh, God. Logan. Logan Paul got hired to the WWE as a wrestler. Like, he's on a contract now. Yeah, so which one do you hate more? <laughs> oh, <God>. Right? <laughs> Dude, but here's the thing. Right? Uh Logan Paul had a match at a, at a one-off wrestling event a few months ago. He actually wasn't that bad as a wrestler. He, like, as far as performing Dude. as a wrestler, I was like, oh. It was like when Bad Bunny was in there. I was like, damn, you actually took this seriously. Okay. Like, you look yeah. like you trained for wrestling. Yeah. Like, Bad Bunny's a little different because, yeah, he he did look like he could wrestle. I saw a little bit of that. In, uh, but he's like a musical star. And, like, you know, you either like his music or you don't know. Logan Paul, you know only oh because God. of the He's fucking such a antics, douche, man. Oh you only know God. because of the antics, and that's yeah, dude. Like, uh... It's like I, it's yeah. I don't know. I think it's WWE. WWE has become something else. It I mean, is not definitely. a. It is not a wrestling 
company and they don't call it a wrestling company no, anymore. It's, it's inter- sports entertainment, entertainment and they're all about bringing in athletes and training them how to wrestle like they want adonis looking guys and girls yeah. Yeah, and they want you to ha- if you come in with a name already, even better because you're a draw. Mm-hmm. It like they yeah. want you former football player, former MMA, former if you anything. Oh yeah, yeah. come on in. Yeah, you know where wrestling isn't about wrestling. Like if it's wrestling, it's about like what you're doing in the ring. Yeah, is it? It isn't about who you are. And but it's I don't know, man. It's it's become a. It's funny that you should, that you call it sports entertainment when it's not even a sport, right? Because there's and, no competition involved. There's right. no and there's no any given Sunday. And it's weird. It's, it's weird it's, because it's all, it's all pre written. It's like a play. They're athletes. They bust their ass. Yeah. Like the endurance they need to do that. Yes. The p- pain they put their bodies they're, through. They're circus performers. Essentially, yeah. They're just, <laughs> like you. You always like you always screw with me and be like stunts. But that's essentially what it is. It is. It's choreographed stunt show. It's, it's it really a, is. It's, it's just a circus. It, it's a tumbling act. It is. I mean, and that's why. And that's they do why a little I, high wire. They do a little. <laughs> right. And then. A little trampoline work. And and there is a phrase in wrestling about the carnies. I mean, because it yeah. is. It is a. It's a carny sort of thing. Oh, uh, so they they see, they've seen the parallels. They're they're aware of the parallels. There, oh huh? yeah. Okay. Well, I mean. It's a it's all a, it's a smoke and mirror show, right? It probably started out as a carnival act in some in some uh some sense. Right? I would think so. Yeah, it's like, well yeah, because there was a Cuz you would it? always have like the strong man versus this guy. Right, come in here and watch Tiger Tony fight this guy and they were like, "Oh god, he's such a bad guy." And yeah. he's like, you know, playing the crowd and you know, it's it's got watch this white man beat this negro. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. What? It's it's that's gotten what, wow. That's what they would do. I mean, I guess so. Uh you it's never got thought a it could lot be. more physical over the years. Because if you look at wrestling from the seventies, it's guys oh, just like yeah. fake punching each other in the yeah. head and dancing around. What was the guy, the pretty boy uh Buddy Nature Boy Buddy Rogers or No, like he uh the real old ones from like the fifty. He was like uh Pretty guy, sexy boy, pretty boy Floyd, or I don't know, whatever. But yeah, it was just like they'd come out in a flamboyant costume, yeah, and they'd prance around and they'd like elbow each other, and maybe somebody would like do a hip toss, or but now these dudes are jumping off twenty foot ladders through tables and like the acrobatics have definitely taken over, right? Yeah, they're just like now you got to be a real athlete because look, dude, the Big Boss Man, Earthquake, Mm. those dudes were not athletes, no, but anyone today. All athletes. How much of that do you think, Jones? You you would be more uh more aware of this than I would. How much of this do you think came from like the lucha libre and like some of the uh Japanese or some I of the mean, Asian it's all, styles? It's all. It, I think now it's all intermingled. It's like I mean that's it, what I mean. It's like the introduction of some of like the more uh acrobatic Asian wrestlers and the lucha libre. Yeah, um, it's all. Once that got integrated, and did you start noticing like an increase in that type of? I'd behavior? say, well, yeah, because it's. I mean, because it used to just be big fat dudes, kind of, and then once <laughs> once you get like yeah. smaller guys who can do more stuff, yeah. then it's like, oh, that this can be way more entertaining than guys just yeah. fake punching each other. Get more get more views when you have a, a yeah. move that's not a leg drop, exactly, or an elbow off the top rope. Yeah, right, exactly. You so throw a I flip don't know, in man. there, people. Are like, yeah, so but here's my money. But anyways, bottom line, Vince McMahon's a piece of trash. No one's surprised, but it sucks for those ladies. I feel bad for them. Yep. Uh, I saw I did see one old wrestler posted online. She was like, Oh, no wonder I never got a promotion. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna hurt your chances. Yeah, right. Right. So, I mean, but that's I mean, that's the whole common adage. Like, oh, sleep your way to the top. Like Hey. Like it's it sucks. I mean, dude. look at Hollywood. All the shit that came out about the wine scenes. It's sleeping your way to the top. Maybe dude. I should try sleeping my way to. I've never tried. <laughs> just that. like you just go in like your boss. You're like, hey, uh, have you? Wait, Joe. I know we're going to end the episode, but have you ever slept with a woman and it actually helped you in your job? No, never. Okay, thousand percent. But I, I mean, wasn't yeah, like. Me but, but also, in my defense, when I was younger and would have done something wild like that, I was not in the position to be like the young stud coming into the older lady and being oh. like. Hey, hey, you know, you know, whatever. Oh, okay, like, okay, yeah, me, me either. So, yeah. But if the but if the opportunity ap- approached you, yeah. Like, if my old boss was like, "Hey, why don't you come over?" I'm like, there's "Yeah, an op- there's an opening coming up." In the- yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that would be crazy, Jonas. You probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, Keep don't your do that. Ethics. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com. Subscribe for Jonas. Oh, uh, we out.